Anisha and welcome back to another painting video. All right, so for today's video, it's actually a collab with Minty Sketchbook. You guys probably know her already and if you don't, you should go check her out after this video. She does a lot of character design but also like fun challenges and a lot more. And yeah, we ended up deciding to paint our favorite Studio Ghibli movie scene. And yeah, keep watching to find my favorite scene. So a lot of people who know me knows that I'm pretty, I mean not even pretty, I am obsessed with Totoro <laughs> and as you can see I have a big plushie in my room that I'm obsessed. I also had a phone case which I can't find right now but yeah actually I just remembered that I have a pen that's Totoro shape but I'll show you in the end of the painting. So for the painting the scene that I chose is the famous scene of Totoro and the two little girls waiting at the bus stop. I don't know that scene I've been wanting to paint it actually but then it seemed like there was so much going on in there and I re never really had time to paint so today's the day I'm gonna paint it I first started by sketching out the shapes and I tried not to take too long which I did you probably can see that I kept erasing and going back and erasing but doesn't seem as long because thank you for editing I could put it times 20 <laughs> and it seems like yeah I did it in like two minutes <laughs> drawing is my least favorite part of a painting I'm mainly excited about using the paint and having fun with them but this time I actually had fun drawing the two little girls drawing the little bus stop sign and yeah I did pull out my ruler you guys are probably surprised I actually used the ruler even if I hate drawing measured stuff I wanted to get my line straight and I did so yeah I don't know why I had fun drawing them <laughs> Totoro is just so cute with his little, little mouth and then like the little girl sleeping on the shoulder with the cute like little mouth it was so cute so I don't know I think I was just happy drawing them because it was such a cute scene This painting took me like three days to do it because I mean not three full days it's just because I started painting when it was the afternoon so the Sun would go down and there was a lot of details that I had to include with it so I had to speed up this video a lot more than usual but I think you guys can still get the gist of how I was mixing the colors and everything So I first started by painting the background and it did take me a while because I had to cover a lot of surfaces because I decided to use both sides of my sketchbook and then I still had to make sure to leave the space for the actual characters. Like I could cover it with gouache but then it would be a lot more work to be able to go back and add lighter colors on them because they would remix with it. So yeah, I had to be pretty meticulous about it to not go over the characters and yeah, just to make my life easier later. I made it hard in the beginning. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, that's what I was doing. And when I was working on the leaf, I was having a lot of fun and adding all the colors, but then my battery died in between. And because I was so focused into adding the leaves, I didn't even check. So yes, you kind of lost me at that part, but just imagine me having fun with the colors and putting on different layers of green. Oh, also, I don't know about you, but my hands tend to shake a lot when I'm painting something that requires a lot of precision like painting the bus stop stand took me a while because my hands were shaking and I was trying to get the line straight And then I finally 
moved on to painting the characters and they were so cute. I can't tell you how much I had fun painting them. Although it did take me a lot longer to paint. And I tried to be careful this time because I didn't want to go over my lines. Because I, I was pretty happy with how the drawing looked like. So yeah, it took me a lot longer to finish this section of the painting. <laughs> It's the second day and I was finally able to paint Totoro but I didn't have much time left in the day because you know I was sleeping a lot so it was already the afternoon and I didn't have much sunlight left for the day so I was trying to hurry to finish painting Totoro so yeah. painting Totoro I, I kind of just didn't put enough of grey so I was running out of the color and when I had to remake the color it didn't look quite similar so I don't know if you guys can catch on it but it was either a mixture of the color not drying fast enough and then the color that dried they kind of look different so I was kind of getting confused with it so I just left it for a little bit let it to dry and then I realized that I forgot to add the little how was that called the little triangle on the belly so then I just took the chance added that and kept painting Thank you. 
then after I painted the eyes that made Totoro look more like Totoro, I moved on to painting the words that was on the bus stop and I know those were Japanese words and I don't know how to write Japanese so I kind of painted what I thought I was saying so yeah don't look too close on that just act as if like it's actual Japanese okay <laughs> I tried my best at this and of course it got too late when it was time for me to add the one final details which was the rain I didn't know how to paint the rain this is why I was always scared to paint it because of that part but then I just looked at the painting and I was like okay I'll just add some white first dilute the white a lot more and then make it more opaque if I feel like it needs more of it and I think it ended up looking decent so let me know what you guys think about it okay I lied about the final details the final details is actually putting in the line work so I finally ordered myself some new pen and I actually also ran out of washing tape so I got those too so here's an impromptu unboxing <laughs> this video was gonna get a lot longer so I just showed you quickly of how the washi tape looked like so the first three were my favorite ones and I really like the golden details that it had on it so yeah I'm excited about that For the pen, I didn't actually buy the Micron one because I wanted to try something different and I got this from Amazon, it had pretty good reviews so I decided to just give it a go. And I wanted to test them first so I took out a paper and I wanted to test each of them on camera. So yeah, here's a little time lapse of me trying all my new pens. So overall, I was really happy about the quality of the pen. I like the range they gave me in it. I mean, I think it's pretty standard, but yeah, I'll give you more of my reviews later to see how long they will last. And yeah, I had a lot more option. I didn't have to use my pen that I used to study with. I actually use a fine liner to be able, so you guys better be proud of me for this one. And here's the little tutor I was talking about. It was a pen gifted to me by one of my friends because they all know how much I'm obsessed with that. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy watching me paint or painted along with me. Let me know what you guys thought about it and I will see you in the next video. Allez, bye!